What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube and today we are in the brand new 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG GLE 53 Coupe courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So we are in this one today because it is an AMG and I do not need any more of a reason than that to go ahead and test drive one of these things. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so MSRP for the new 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG GLE 53 Coupe will start at $86,750. And of course, in typical Mercedes fashion, there are so many different options you can go with. So you can actually tack up the price quite substantially if you really wanted to. But Powering the Beast is an AMG enhanced three liter supercharged and turbocharged inline six cylinder with a 48 volt mild hybrid system, putting out 429 horsepower 6100 rpm 413 pound feet of torque coming in at 1800 rpm power being sent to all four wheels through a nine speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys of course know we will be testing out here in a little bit zero to 60 time according to road and track 4.4 seconds top speed 155 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 18 in the city 23 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test or paddle shifter test here in this thing i did want to mention to you guys the drive modes now i have reviewed the gle coupe previously for this year already drive modes were kind of located just above the cup holders here it's labeled dynamic select however the drive modes on an amg you guys may already know are located on the steering wheel they are actually circular dials so you got the drive modes on the right there and then you got the uh suspension modes as well along with the exhaust modes as well wait till you get to the exhaust modes you guys we're going to be doing an exhaust clip a little bit later in this video but back to the drive modes you simply turn it to the right and to the left you have different drive modes like comfort sport sport plus slippery trail and sand actually as well believe it or not adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response the steering sensitivity and the suspension settings and the exhaust note as well so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's put the paddle shifters and acceleration here to the test at the same time i want to see how quickly the paddle shifters are going to react for us here i think they will be fine because this is an am G after all and let's also see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right so we're a red light right now we're about to turn green hopefully i got it in that sport driving mode i got the exhaust turned on here the real exhaust note and let's go oh my gosh <laughs> dang <laughs> Dude, you can feel it in the pit of your stomach. And these paddle shifters are so ridiculously high quality as well. They feel aluminum. They're definitely not some matte black cheap plastic paddle shifters that I'm typically used to finding. Heck, even on Audi. So that was ridiculous. That was amazing in the very best possible way. You can feel it in the pit of your stomach. Paddle shifters are perfectly fine, but that acceleration, maybe it's because of the mild hybrid system was instantaneous. The second you hit the gas, you take off. There wasn't any kind of turbo lag or anything like that whatsoever. So that was an incredible acceleration for the AMG Coupe here, without a doubt. I love it. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find some massive front disc, 15.75 inch perforated front discs with silver painted dual piston fixed calipers in the back, 13.5 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as that braking feel goes, it's great. Instantly brings it to the stop. The braking is on the firmer side of things, so I absolutely love it. Typically, Mercedes-Benz, and especially AMG, does an amazing job with all performance elements of their vehicles, but let's continue on nonetheless. So, touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're gonna get a double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, but also an adaptive damping suspension. Those you guys know, you know I love those. There's essentially monitor each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road to perform giving you a smoother ride, but it also tightens up the suspension during heavy cornering, giving you better handling as well. So essentially giving you the best of both worlds. That is why I love adaptive damping suspensions. The thing I notice most about those is the ride quality. It is a noticeable difference if you drive the same vehicle back to back, one with an adaptive suspension and one without. 
that's where you really notice the difference. I'm telling you guys, after driving 900 plus cars, it is a noticeable ride quality difference at least. But in addition to that, this one also has a self-leveling air suspension. So that really does give you the best of both worlds. And again, there is a suspension button. You kind of just push in on the side of it here and that gives you different suspension elements for whatever your particular fancy is. So right now I'd put it back in the comfort suspension and ride quality is 100% on point as expected in this kind of a setup. You really can't get better ride quality than an adaptive air suspension and a self-leveling air suspension. You're not going to find a better ride quality than that. I'm just going to tell you that right off the bat. So expect the very best ride quality in this thing. As far as steering feel goes, it does adjust depending upon the drive mode that you put it in. Like I said, steering wheel grips, the 10 and 2 grips are thick as stink. I love that. Instantly points you in the direction that you want to go. Having said that, the steering feel does adjust, like I said. So if you wanted a heavier feel to the steering, put it in Sport or Sport Plus. If you wanted a more looser feel to the steering, put it back in Comfort. So really something for everybody. As far as cabin noise goes, we're going 53 miles per hour right now. So I'm going to let you guys be the judge of that. I already know the answer, but I got a road mic running right now. And this thing is ridiculously serene. So you can definitely tell there is an acoustic laminated front windshield and there are also acoustic laminated side windows as well. It doesn't get any better than that. Touching on rear visibility, that's where this one is the best because it's a coupe version of the car. So it's not gonna be the very best rear visibility at least. But like I say in previous videos, just like Camaro owners say, just like 370Z owners say, it's something that you get used to. So it doesn't bother them. If you were to buy this, I'm sure it wouldn't bother you either because again, it would be something that you would get used to. Did wanna also mention though, there is a head up display that is available with the pinnacle trim that goes for $3,450 in case you wanted that. But that's gonna project your speed, speed limit to safety features up onto your windshield, better helping with forward visibility there as well. But that pretty much rounds up the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG GLE 53 Coupe. Dang, that's a lot to say. Anyways, let's get it. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG GLE 53 Coupe finished in polar white. In case you were curious of our exact exterior color name that we had on this one with us here today. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where this one is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is actually the number four, which is interesting because I've been used to seeing those W's with the Mercedes-Benz lineup. But number four actually means that this one is built and assembled here in the U.S., specifically Alabama. However, the engine and transmission are still built in Germany, of course. But anyways, that's how that works. Starting up front, AMG-specific vertical bar front grille of course in typical AMG fashion. We've got the AMG lettering found on part of that front grille as well there. Illuminated star goes for $535 in case you wanted to go with that option. To the sides LED headlights with LED daytime running lights do come standard. You get the automatic feature with those. You also get automatic high beams so if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it up to high beams for you there so you gotta love that. Also though to the bottom corners there you will find front air curtains of course helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination for a little better aerodynamics and of course in typical AMG fashion you got that AMG crest found on the front portion of the hood there as well so I love this. The vertical bars instantly let you know that this is an AMG and something that is ridiculous in the best possible way. But that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of this one, rear privacy glass does come standard along with chrome window surrounds as well. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They are heated with LED integrated turret signals, of course, as well and power folding, of course, to go along with all that. Illuminated running boards, they go for $650 if you wanted that option. Quite honestly, I don't think you personally need them. I don't have any issues getting in and out of this one. Soft closed doors go for $550. That's a very famous Mercedes-Benz uh, option that I quite often see. 20-inch uh, AMG specific five-spoke alloys do come standard. You gotta love that. But there are actually 21 and 22-inch designs available to really make this one your own if you wanted to. And let me get up a little closer I want to show this to you guys. You do have the engine badging found on the front fenders. It says Turbo Formatic Plus. So that's what that's going to be there for. In case anybody was curious what that actually was. But anywho, that pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and swing around to the back. All right, so now let's see all around to the back of this one. In typical Mercedes-Benz fashion, absolutely no shark fin antenna all the way to the top. So 
Every other vehicle in the world has them, I feel, except for Mercedes and BMW. So very clean look, I'll say that. But rear spoiler does come standard. You guys can see that. You do have a center high mount stop lamp all the way to the top there as well. LED taillights coming standard yet again. And just below it all, you will find a rear diffuser. It is finished in matte black. That looks dang good. And perhaps my favorite part though, integrated dual exhaust outlets with quad chrome tips so so many manufacturers are tucking their exhaust away and not integrating them and this just looks so dang good but anyways i'm rambling i think you guys know what we have to do next here i promised you an exhaust clip here it is as always here is that exhaust clip So Manassas, we are around to the back of this one. When it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a hands-free power tailgate that does come standard. So gotta love that. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 33.3 cubic feet behind that second row. If that was not enough space, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 74.9 cubic feet. Got some LED cargo lighting back there. There are grocery bag hooks. There's chrome-plated tie-down anchors. Of course, in typical Mercedes fashion, you got the velour or the car carpeted carpeting kind of finishes back there. There is a 12 volt power outlet. And then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find a spare tire along with, could probably put like an ice scraper surrounding that or something like that. But then making our way up to the rear legroom that comes in at an extremely impressive 40.9 inches. That's a ton for reference. I mean, even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the back there. Rear ventilation does come standard. Of course, you got a rear center armrest with cup holders. If you wanted a heated second row, that's a $580 option. If you wanted four zone climate control, that's an $860 option. And if you wanted the third row package, that is a $2,100 option. So in case you're curious, we don't have the third row package, so I'm not going to be able to show that, but it is actually available, believe it or not, on this particular one. But anyways, then making our way up to the front seats, power adjustable front seats with memory settings do come standard. Heated front seats also coming standard. Ventilated front seats also coming standard. Or by the way, Napa leather coming standard, but it is integrated with the micro suede insert. So I've got to love that. And you got the AMG letter and going right across that suede as well overall these bolsters on these seats are absolutely massive so you're definitely not going to have any issues with the seat um, plenty of seat comfort in this thing so no issues there then taking a look at the steering wheel one of my favorite parts of this thing tilt and telescoping it is power adjustable it is leather wrapped um, you can get a heated steering wheel with the winter package that goes for $450. Got the AMG lettering found on the bottom portion of the steering wheel. And of course, all of your drive mode buttons as well. And these massive paddle shifters, they're extremely high quality. So they did the steering wheel absolutely amazing. The 10 to 2 grips, like I said previously, are massive. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. And let me start by showing you guys this AMG specific key. Gotta love that. You got the AMG lettering lock, unlock, that button to pop the rear tailgate there. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that black engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so once started up, this is pretty cool. 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster does come standard, of course. And if you press that home button on the uh, steering wheel, that gives you so many different loadouts. So, so much customization because it's a digital gauge cluster. My personal favorite, because it's not found on non AMG Mercedes, is the Super Sport gauge cluster. That gives you that AMG badging specifically at the bottom and these cool blue and orange hues. So, if you're a Clemson fan, maybe this is the route to go. But you also have the sport loadout you have the classic loadout the understated loadout which looks dang good as well got the full navigation loadout if you wanted to go that route and believe it or not you actually have an off-road loadout which actually shows some cool sand up there as well so a lot of different options you can go with up there. So I absolutely love that. Of course, it gives you the basics like speed limit recognition, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's a digital speedometer. You can choose to display the RPMs as well. It's all completely customizable. So 
100% crushed it with this gauge cluster. But so now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality, a panorama roof. It's massive, it goes all the way into the back. That comes standard. You got garage door openers for up to three different garage doors found just below that frameless rear view mirror. You gotta love that. Dual zone climate control does come standard. AMG illuminated door sills as well. Got some brushed aluminum trim that does come standard at least. However, there are different wood trims available. We have one of those. It's a matte wood, it's texturized. It feels good as well. So it's a great look overall with our saddle brown kind of interior that we have with us here today. Got stainless steel pedals. They come standard as well. Just in front of the cup holders, you got a wireless phone charger. You gotta love that. Of course, you got your cup holders as well, which by the way, are illuminated in whichever ambient lighting color that you pick. And by the way, 64 colors of ambient lighting. So Mercedes does that wonderfully. Got these massive grab bars for both the driver and passenger. Everything surrounded all of these buttons is finished in that matte wood finish. You gotta love that. Just behind all of that in your center armrest, there's actually a decent amount of storage in there. And you got a USB charging port actually in there as well, which is pretty nice. So overall, as far as the interior quality goes, of course, Mercedes-Benz absolutely crushes it. You got this auto dim on and off interior lighting. It just slowly fades on and then it slowly fades off. I always find that pretty cool with Mercedes. Got contrast stitching. I love the black and saddle brown colors in this one. You got the aluminum speaker covers and yes, we will be testing out that sound system very soon here. So wonderful job with the interior quality in typical Mercedes fashion. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here. You got a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display, of course. Blue Bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. Factory navigation system also coming standard. You can check out your climate control information up there as well. There's also this cool AMG performance icon that you could check out up there where it gives you different car statistics, like different angles, uh, uh, horsepower and torque at any given time. I found that was pretty darn cool. IWC, which is a very fancy looking wristwatch up there. It tells you the actual legit time, so 230 30 right now that looks so dang good and some consumption information as well I actually like the iwc that looks pretty darn cool but anywho of course you can check out your ambient lighting settings up there it gives you some off-road statistics that's another little icon you can select if you wanted to along of course with your radio information and so let's get down to the fun part here 13 speaker Burmester surround sound system comes standard with 590 watts. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Let's see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. That was intense when it hit that deep bass in that song. That was incredible. Plenty of clarity as well, but the bass, that is really what made that sound system. That was amazing. And simply so last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put this one in reverse, you will find an extremely high definition rear view camera coming standard across the board. You got the 360 degree monitor there to the left as well, giving you that bird's eye view, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start the AMG GLE 53 Coupe is an IIHS top safety pick plus, which is the very high highest designation given by IIHS. So that pretty much says it all right there. Also coming standard though, Mercedes-Benz emergency call service. There's attention assist, crosswind assist, blind spot assist, Partronic with active parking assist, which works amazingly by the way it'll freak you out but it works amazing also adaptive braking technology but then there is also a driver assistance package that goes for $1,950 that gives you active steering assist evasive steering assist active brake assist emergency stop assist speed limit assist blind spot assist lane keep assist lane change assist route based speed adaptation then as well so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the AMG GLE 53 coupe crazy quick that is the first thing i noticed because so many vehicles that have been test driving lately have some form of turbo lag and this one did not it was completely eliminated probably thanks to that 48 volt mild hybrid system so incredible acceleration the interior quality is second to none the wood trim the matte wood trim the ambient lighting is super bright gotta love that as well the color combination that we had in this particular one absolutely amazing also amazing sound system on this one the burmester sound system really blew me away and the aluminum speaker covers were definitely very nice as well the only thing i can possibly think of to make this one even better is that safety package that driver assistance package for two grand a lot of that most of that comes standard on a basic corolla so that is something i always gripe on with mercedes-benz is safety should come standard especially if you're paying this much money 
you should get safety standard. Not that this one's not still an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, so it's still the best there, but there's still a lot of that advanced safety you get standard on other cars, but I just think it should be standard on this one. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments section below. That's about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in any new car reviews, because that is what we've been doing on this channel for like 10 years now. Do appreciate each and every one of you guys watching. I see all of you guys watching. I know who all the regulars are. The bus driver, Dills04. There's Michael. I appreciate you helping me out with a uh, different situation. But anyways, just know you're all appreciated. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button, and now we'll see you guys all in the next video stay going